Hey, Mr. Leatherwood. Miss Mitchell. And today we're going to talk about patterns and finding number sentences. So we've done patterns before. So let's start. We're getting a little trickier this year. It's getting crazy up in here. That's right. <laughs> up in here. <laughs> so this may seem a little bit more challenging than our standard pattern. Mrs. Mitchell, where would we start on this one? Well, I see there's a blank that starts, so I can't really start at the first number because it's a blank. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with 52. Okay. And finding patterns is kind of like a guess and check type ain't, thing. Ain't that the truth. So I'm going to start with addition because that's what I'm comfortable with. Okay. And I know it's going to be adding because, well, I know I'm not going to subtract because 57 is greater than 52. And chances are multiplying is probably not... <laughs> The chances aren't great. Yeah. Because if I multiply it by two, I'm gonna have 104. Yeah. So not great. But I'm adding five there. Okay. And I know that if I'm gonna find patterns, you don't just find the first step and then stop, because True. that might not be the pattern. So I have to check every single number. Yeah. So then between 57 and 63, they add five. Interesting. Interesting. Oop! I have a blank. Uh oh. But if I followed what was happening before, and I add 5 again, then that would be 68. So how are you going to check if that's right? Well, if it's right, if I add 5 to 68, I should get 73, okay. which I do. Lucky, lucky. Which means that the pattern is adding 5. So now I have to go back to my starting number. Can I, so can I do that one? Yeah. Okay, so I think it's this. Hmm. Yay. Well, let's talk about that, okay. Mr. Leatherwood. <clears throat> I added five. Let's check it. How about that? Okay. 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 So if we have 57, if you're right, mm -hmm. and you add five to 57, what would you get? Not 52. Not 52. Oh, we get 63. Hmm. hmm. So the problem being, you're going backwards in your pattern. Oh. So if you go backwards, you're so going to have to find a number that when you add 5 to it, it makes 52. I gotcha. So I need to go this way. So how could you do that? So instead of add, I am going to add, but to figure out this little guy right here, I need to take 52... And subtract five. There you go. There we go. Let's be a part of the class now. Seven. Forty-seven. Now, if you add five to forty-seven, would you get fifty-two? I would. You would. I would get fifty-two. Excellent job. That was great, great, great. Great, great, great. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so let's get a little trickier. So this these are some easier patterns. Let's do Ooh, that was convenient. Okay, <laughs> so like. let's talk about input and output. Machine. Machine. <laughs> that was my was machine, that machine sound. <laughs> I didn't quite know what you were doing there. <laughs> so when we talk about input and output, we often talk about two letters, X and Y. Yes? Yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, oftentimes they'll give you an X, and then they'll say, okay, Y pops out. They'll give you a 5. Maybe we should explain what a machine, the input-output machine is, if okay. no one's ever heard of it. Okay. So, we have this machine, and we put a number into it, and that's our input. Here's our machine. I'm making a machine. <laughs> and the machine does something to the number. We don't know what. That's our job to find out. And then it spits out a new number. That's an excellent machine. Oh, thanks. And the number it spits out is the output. So this is our input-output machine. And our job is to figure out what the machine is doing to the number. And the trick is the machine does the same thing every single time to every number. Hmm. So, for instance, if I put my 3 in here and it goes... It does something, something, and then it spits out a 12. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want to know what our something is. That's right. Okay. So Where do you want to start? 
I could do 3 plus 9. True. Right? But then you have to check it on okay. the other numbers. Because if the machine's adding 9, then it's going to say 5 plus 9 is 20. So so if I think it's x plus 9, so my variable is x, right? Mm -hmm. x plus 9. So that would be 12. So then i got to use 5 also, you said? Mm -hmm. You have to try it for the numbers. Okay. So 5 plus 9, I would get 14, not 20. So that means that your machine is not adding 9. Okay. Good try. Good try. Try something new. Try something new. Okay. Is it subtracting anything? Um, probably not because every time we're going up. Right. It's getting greater. Getting greater. So maybe multiplying? Okay. Let's okay. try that. Let's try multiplying. So 3 times 4 would give me 12. Okay. So it could be x times 4, which when we, maybe I should. Now we don't always have to use that little x symbol for multiplication. Sometimes we could use a, little dot. a dot. I like a dot. But in the middle, not a dot at the bottom. Yeah, like not a decimal, a decimal point. That's no. true. Okay, so 3 times 4 would be 12. 5 times 4 would be 20. 6 times 4 would be 24, 7 times 4 would be 28. So, I believe our number sentence would be x times 4. Equals what? Equals... The number we're getting out, which is our y. y. Snazzy. What's another way that we could show multiplication? Do you want to get into that? Oh, sure, we could do that. Okay. So, we could flip it around if we wanted y equals 4x. We've talked about when you bump up a number in a variable, that means to multiply. Mm -hmm. They can just sit next to each other like yeah. that. But numbers can't sit next to each other to show multiplication because then it would just look like... Another number. Another number. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good That's job. Good. All right, you want to get trickier? Let's do it. All right. Let's see here. Bloop. Bloop. Look at that. Convenient again. <laughs> All right, so let's do another one. This time we're going to make our table go sideways. Sideways? Come on, Mr. Leatherwood. All right, horizontal. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> sideways, horizontal. Okay, so we're going to do one, three, very random numbers on the top. <laughs> Okay, and then on the bottom, our pr products, or I guess we don't know that they're products. No, huh? we don't. I've told my kids before that they tend to look at um, patterns between the X. Like they would say, okay, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then they're trying to find something all within the X. Oh, so they try to go this way. Yeah, and usually I gave them the tip that usually now that you're in fifth grade, we're looking at something between the pattern between the two different numbers. Yeah, so we're going from our X to our Y. Yes. Or from our Y from to our, our X. Two different variables. Yeah, okay. So that's a little trick of the trade. Trick of the trade. Mm -hmm. All right, so do we want to... Want me to draw a cute little machine mm, again? No? I mean, Don't need yes. a machine? Okay. No machine. <laughs> she fun, says no machine. Fun hater. Okay. So, we're trying to go. We went from 1 to 1. We went from 3 to 5. 8 to 15. Hmm. Well, in the first one, 1 to 1, I do plus 0. Okay. X plus 0. <clears throat> on the second one. 3 plus 0 is not 5. Yeah, that doesn't work. So not the pattern. But 1 times 1 is 1. That's true. But then 3 times 1 is not 5. Oh. Maybe the first one's really hard to work with. Maybe we should go to the next one. Okay. And see if we could find something. So 3 could be 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, yeah. But, but then... 8 plus 2 is not 15. Ooh. But 5 is close to 6. Hmm. And I know that 3 has a relationship to 6. Yeah, you could double it. It's a double. Okay. Go back to first grade terms. Double. Double. So three times two would be six, and then we could subtract one to get five. Yeah. So we could do... Because there could be more than one thing in a pattern, right? Yeah, that's true. It could be a multi-step pattern. Write that down, because I just got lost in that. Okay, so 
let's see. So x times 2. We did that first, so let's put that in parentheses. Okay. X times 2, and then we subtracted 1. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, or so I, then... Or we could write it 2x minus 1. Yeah. All right, okay. So then if 8 is our x, mm -hmm. 8 times 2... Would be 16. And the minus 1 is 15. Ooh, that would work. Ooh, Ooh we're getting okay, there. Okay, okay. Keep okay. trying. So 9 times 2 would be 18. Mm -hmm. Minus 1 would be 17. Okay, one more. All right. Actually, two more. 12 times 2 is 24. Minus 1 is 23. Last but I really one. don't think it'll work with this one. <laughs> that one's seen. just... It's out of the box. Yeah. I think you probably messed up when you wrote that. Probably. Let's see. <laughs> 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is, is one. 1. All right. <laughs> we did it. Yay. We are brainiacs. Yay. So either one, do these both mean the same thing? Yes. But we should probably say that they equal y so that they're an equation oh, instead good. of an expression. Yeah, we need to do that. So we could say equals y over here, mm -hmm. or we could also put the y in front. Yes. Yay, we are good. We are good. You guys are about to be good, too. That's right. Should we give them one to kind of mess with over the earth? Yeah, let's okay. see what they can do. All right, so... Give us do? a second. Okay, give us a second. All right, we've got some tricky ones for you. Whoop, whoop. So we've got... <laughs> it's the tricky noise. Yeah, tricky noise. <laughs> got a sequence here. So see if you can figure out... Not only the pattern, what's happening, but also fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. So two answers to that question. Yep. Actually and three, because there's two blanks. That's true. <laughs> then we've got a vertical T-chart. You know how I tell my kids to remember vertical? I would love to hear it. Because in high school, my friends would tell me I was vertically challenged. Nice. And if they ever call me horizontally challenged, they're yeah, in trouble. They are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so on this one, you need to figure out what the pattern or what the number sentence is and try to find our missing information, too. Yeah? Two questions. Two questions. And then our last one, speaking of vertical. No, not vertical. Horizontal. horizontal See, I'm which I am up. not. You are not. So we've got... Do, 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 do. Some crazy numbers. And they are producing. Uh oh. No, that's right. Yeah. So, no question mark here. This one, we're just trying to figure out what's happening. So, just your number sentence. Y equals X, blah, 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 or vice versa. Yay. Good luck. So, that's wait. One, two, three, four, five, six answers you should have. Yep. Okay. That's tough. Good that's luck. Good. Have fun. Bye.